Last clip is uh, AI, which can read a mouse's mind, uh, literally. Uh, this is uh, fascinating, right? So um, this is a mouse watching a old uh, black and white projection of a movie. Um, and it's uh, watching it through the eyes and they're reading the brain waves of the mouse um, in a number of different waves. And they are using AI, using um, neural networks and, and uh, big data and analytics to recreate that image on a screen um, just by reading the, the signals. And you can see on the bottom, it's a little bit more glitchy. It's not quite as good as the, the original, but... Like, if I told you five years ago that we'll be able to do this, you would have just laughed me out the room. Like, you would have thought there's no way we can read minds using AI, but we can. And um, that is a video um, from a mouse. Um, we did another segment on the pod uh, a few episodes back about a um, how we can do this with humans with pictures. So if you have a look at, like, uh, an image of, of something and you're focusing on it and concentrating on it, um, we can then recreate that image um, on, on our screen. And it's not, like, 100% there, just like this, but it's it's pretty close. Like, if you're thinking house, we can then now we can now show that image on, on a screen, um, which is bizarre, like, to even think about how we can do this. Um, but we can. Um, Joe, what's your take when you see that clip? It's quite scary. Like this is the scariest thing for me. Yeah. Um, I was I was curious. Um, obviously they're using AI, but how you know the thing of the first um thing we discussed the ad that's fully AI generated, like with prompts. Yeah. Like yeah. this this is the mouse's brain generating the prompts in some sense. Like how much is actually yeah. signal from the brain versus the AI is kind of filling in the gaps is is interesting. I mean, I it was so it was basically the the same video. So, yeah. I, so I I don't think it's. I mean, it is it is generating it, mm. but it's not generating it based on what's on Google Images. It's, it's <laughs> it, you know, in combining that information to to create something. It's 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 reading signals and recreating that image, right? Yeah, it was surprisingly uh, good. Um, so it's scary when you think about if if they could use that on humans, the yeah. the implications of that. Big brother. Um, yeah, no privacy. Yeah. Anyone could just be see what you saw. Yeah, I mean that that would be the uh, the terrifying way that that could that could go. But uh, John, what what's your take on that clip? Absolute fear. Yeah, you scared of it? Abs. I don't think we should be. I think ethically we shouldn't even be allowed to go there. Mm. Personally, um, it's too easy to be manipulated um, and just create absolute distortions. So. Uh, I, I didn't realise that the technology was th was there for it, and although it looks perfectly innocent, hey, look, it's a little mouse. Yeah. The fact that we can actually tune into the electrical signals of the brain, and then we can they can be read and then manipulated. I can't help but fill that with fear. Okay, okay. So the doomsday scenario is like. 1984 you know if we all have like a neural link type device and like a little chip in our brain and and it's great because you can you can think hey send a text message to this person and they'll receive it you don't have to use your thumbs anymore um you know it's great because you know all you have to do is think about googling a question and it will give you the answer in, in your mind um you know when we go for it but then you know, doomsday, everything that we're thinking, everything that we're seeing, it's all being stored on some cloud somewhere and, and perhaps a government has access to that and then we don't have any privacy at all anymore. Is that something that is far-fetched or is that something that people should actually be worried about? Because it's not science fiction anymore. This actually is like, this tech is actually starting to happen. So what, what, what would you say to that question, Joe? I'm not sure. I hope I hope the uh, the governments are paying attention and they, <laughs> they get in with the regulation. I mean, even if even if they can't, replicate it as well in humans even if they only have it in animals you can imagine weird scenarios where i don't know if they could use a fly and get the image from a fly they can like spy yeah, on like people with yeah. flies or, or birds you can like get aerial surveillance with birds and it would be quite inconspicuous <laughs> like any animal around you could be spying on you then and it's paranoid all the time yeah <laughs> is that hedgehog watching me yeah, yeah. um what do you think john are you are you scared about um perhaps government you know intervening with this and it becoming out of control Yes, all these things, all this technology, I think, relies on there being benign liberal governments. Yeah. You know, and we live in societies that are ordered you know, and fair. But we know that the world's not like that. No. And the advance of technology means that ruthless actors can do dangerous things. And then you just don't know what, what it is. And before you know it, it, it says, well, I've got this from my mind, but it's been distorted. So it can put you into a crime scene or 
you can say this is what you were thinking or doing when, yeah. when you weren't, but what evidence will you have to protect yourself? But the crime one is an interesting one, right? Because you don't have, I mean, what, what you get arrested, what can they just like, like read your, read your brain and like, hey, were, were you there? Were you at this, the crime scene? What, what happened? Let, let's watch it back. I think there was an episode of Black Mirror that actually had that as an exact thing that, that happened um, on the TV series. But um, even hacking, like you could get, what, what if somebody like 14 year old kid in, in the States could just hack into the network and then like watch what everyone's been doing? I mean, Maybe this tech is going too far. Maybe maybe you're right. Maybe it's a, a stepping stone that we shouldn't cross. Um, I guess on, on this side, say, same to the AI question, um, does does the ability to read minds and brains, does that excite you? Does that scare you? Which direction do, do you lean in? I think you've made your point pretty clear. You, you're, you're terrified of it, right? But what, what do you think, Joe? Are you, are you more excited or scared by the potential use cases here? No, I think the same. It doesn't, doesn't seem like something we should be pursuing. Uh, yeah. Like the benefits of maybe you can rewatch your memories, but yeah, you know all all the downsides seem much bigger than that. Yeah, I mean, um, the the lack, the issues of privacy. You know, if you have or you or your or that you've seen kind of online in some sense, it's hackable, and then, yeah, you know, just that that's too much. There's, there's, there's certainly like like pros in terms of like memories you don't have to take any pictures anymore or you don't have to you know whip out your phone to film something you can just you know have it have all the memories just stored on your phone and then like you just open up your phone you can say watch them back and say hey i wanted to you know go back to that moment earlier today when we we you know we're all hanging out and then you like you can pick the best picture to to go for but is it is that worth it like for 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 what could happen Mm. But you could have that with like you know Google Glass or the equivalent sure. of that when you have yeah. a camera in your glasses can record so the whole day. Could do it, yeah. Yeah, but I think the thing that's scary is that if that could also read your thoughts, not just what you've seen, but yeah. um, you know, oh, you thought X, <laughs> so yeah, now you're in trouble. Yeah. Um, the, 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 the text, the thoughts, um, it, it is happening. Um, we haven't done a story yet about it, I don't think, but um, AI, so the same type of technology can um, decode words that people are thinking of. Um, it, it, that is, uh, that's happened. Um, it, it's very difficult to do, apparently, and, and a lot of the time it will just completely misunderstand and it will just spit out nonsense and it will be like, hey, you were thinking this, but actually this is what happened. So that's going to require a lot, of, a lot of training. But, I mean, if we can do it with video, I mean, surely we will figure out how to do it with, uh, with words. Um, I always had a theory with um, why Elon bought Twitter, because if you have a neural, neural link of a company and you have Twitter, you can think out a tweet and you can go, hey, I've got this idea. I want to send that privately <laughs> to somebody in like a, di- like a DM or I can then put that out there into the world just by thinking of it. And uh, mm. uh, maybe he's onto something. Maybe the, the combination of the two would make him, I mean, already rich, but even richer. <laughs> maybe, yeah. 